Hey, how's it going? We are on our way. This is the first video of our trip. The ultimate Europe vlog. This is Christian, me, and my girlfriend. Say hello. Hi. We are on our way, finally. We're going to Brussels first, uh, just for a short stop, and then we're flying to Vienna. Uh, we were just in uh, England, staying with my family for, I don't know, about a week, and that was a lot of fun. I'll show you some pictures of that in a second here. It's pretty crazy, some cool stuff. Really cool water gun that's made out of a whole bunch of random crap that my uh, <laughs> cousin made. Um, but yeah, we will keep you updated and uh, we'll show lots of more videos and a lot more stuff very soon. Have a good one guys, see you soon. We made it, we're at our hotel, but guess what? The guy is not here who's gonna help us get in to give us our key. So, we are waiting. We phoned him about a bunch, I don't know, three or four times, emailed a bunch of times. And so we're just gonna sit here for a while and see what happens. And if not, uh, we'll just get a hotel that's close by, luckily. And they supposedly said that this has happened already, uh, last night actually. And people had to book a room in their hotel because they couldn't get anything. So uh, we'll see what happens. Wish us luck. <laughs> hey everybody, how's it going? Finally got to make my video after way too long. I said I was going to make a video every Sunday, but it's uh, about 17 days in. For our trip, we uh, went to England first, but uh, we're here, we're finally here, and uh, it's been amazing. It's been really stressful, but I'll tell you about that in a second. I just wanted to show you our apartment first, and those were the uh, streets outside our place. It's actually really nice um, where we live, but, and really close to downtown. It's about a five minute walk from downtown, like the core of Vienna, but uh, we thought it was pretty sketchy when we got here. It was really dark. No one in the streets, not one person, just us. And um, it was really, really fucking quiet. Like, scary quiet. So we are a little sketched out, but it's fine now. We're used to it. And uh, we know our way around, so we're good to go. This is the front door. Everything is uh, block ground, like rock ground. Hello, neighbor. Or uh, marble. And uh, it's really, really old building, like traditional old building. And you got like the spiral staircase. So we're going up that right now. We're on the second floor of three floors. Still haven't found out if you can go on the roof yet, but I don't know. Uh, so actually uh, to work out, I've been running up these stairs up and down about 10 times. Pretty tough, but it's good. Get the sweat on. So up here, so you got the cool like handles down and it's just really nice. And then we got these big, big green doors. So we'll go inside. So we're inside now. This is our living room. It's kind of like a bachelor suite, I guess. I don't know. It's like a small flat. It's really nice for what we pay, which is just over what we pay in Vancouver, so it's not that expensive. It's really good. Exactly what we need. So we have, this is the living room, of course. This is like where I have my computer stuff and I'm doing all my homework and Chloe, my girlfriend's homework. Which by the way, she's actually my fiance now. Uh, I asked her to marry me about a week ago now. And she said yes, it was perfect. Asked her on the top of a Ferris wheel, so congrats to us, woo! 
almost uh, six years together, so I thought I might as well put a ring on it. And uh, here's the kitchen. Not that big, but again, um, don't really need much. Sadly, we don't have an oven, just a stove top. And we don't have a freezer, just a tiny little fridge. This is, I guess, uh, average size fridge for uh, Vienna. But, uh, so not, not too used to that yet, because uh, our fridge in you know, North America, Canada, are huge. And this is the bathroom, which is actually really nice. Toilet. And they have this thing where you just like press on this button and that's how to flush it, which is kind of interesting. Never seen anything like that before. But again, I'm used to it now. And then I'll show you our bedroom. Uh, my fiance is sleeping right now, but uh, oh, there she is, <laughs> say hi. <laughs> And then we got a big closet right here, which is which is great for all our stuff. I'll leave her alone so she doesn't get all grumpy on me. <laughs> it's still weird saying fiance, but uh, it's good. And then we're kind of like in this, the building that we're in is kind of like a big square. And then in the middle, we have a big courtyard, which I'm about to show you. Let's open this big ass window. So here you go. So it's really nice, very European. Sadly we can't go down into this courtyard because it's all like private residence. But uh, yeah, it's really nice. So we get a lot of sun um, and it's been really hot here. Uh, when we got here it was about 36 degrees and even yesterday uh, it was 33. It will start going down now, I think. But uh, yeah, so it's been hot. But uh, yeah, so these first couple weeks have been insane. Hey guys, so everything you just saw was the first day of arriving in Vienna, Austria. Uh, it was definitely stressful, but we did end up getting inside our hotel. The guy finally got here. Actually, his mom came and she'd speak a word of English. And she got us to uh, call him again, and then he brought the right keys and let us in, and it was all good from there. Um, but then the next two weeks after that were just insane. Uh, so many different things happened. Um, the first week was obviously really difficult, um, getting over the language barrier, um, you know, getting around, finding our way around. Uh, though the transportation system is insanely easy, like we can go anywhere we want now and like don't even think about what we're doing, just just go, you know, which how many stops and stuff like that. Um, a lot of stressful stuff with our place, we're not actually in a hotel, we're in an Airbnb and we have to get residency and a visa and all this stuff, um, so that's been stressful. Oh, and one other thing. Uh, my mom arrived here a week after we got here, and the two days after she got here, <clears throat> I actually went to the hospital uh, late at night. I had a, I get migraines a lot, and I take these like really, really strong drugs to get rid of the, the pain that's in my head. When I get the migraines, I get a super bad headache, and uh, I, usually I take it as soon as I start feeling the effects of the migraine, but this time I threw up like I usually do. So I had no food or, or liquids or anything in my, in my stomach. And then I took the drug and obviously got really, really high, but like a bad high. And uh, so just stuff was going on with my heart. I felt like I was gonna pass out. So my girlfriend dragged me downstairs. I was sitting on the cold ground. Uh, luckily some random guy like just stood by me while she went over to the hotel since we don't have a phone and um, called the ambulance. They came, language barrier thing came up again, but it was, it was fine. I uh, went to the hospital, they took some blood tests, um, stuff like that, came back totally fine. After about, I don't know, an hour there, uh, I felt a lot better. Um, threw up a bunch of times in the hospital, but it was okay. Weird thing is, went to the hospital, huge hospital, right? I'm used to in Vancouver just being like lineups for like hours 
and uh, we get there, I'm one of only three people in the hospital and there's only three doctors. Everything else is just completely empty, which is kind of crazy to me. But I don't know what's going on here. I guess they're super healthy or something. <laughs> A bunch of uh, day trips and stuff like that. Just there's so many events uh, daily in Vienna. It's awesome. There's always something to do, and a lot of it's free, which is crazy. Uh, you, you just don't see that in Vancouver. If there's events, you have to pay for it, and usually it's pretty expensive. Uh, so that's been awesome. Uh, starting to learn language a little bit. Um, you know, recognizing things, like words, and stuff like that. Uh, all our, my uh, fiance's classmates are awesome. So I've been uh, playing football with them and watching football games, stuff like that. And uh, we're gonna do a bunch of day trips coming up here soon. So I'll make some recordings and stuff like that there and, to show you because supposedly these places we're going are just like insanely beautiful and amazing in every way. So uh, that'll be sweet. So I'll show you guys that in the next video. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good one guys. Love you all. We'll see you soon.